everyone, today I have a vintage rustic farmhouse DIY for you. It's also another hack that I wanted to share with you all. These are really nice as decor as well as handmade gifts and you can also sell these at craft fairs. So the first thing you're going to need are some frames and you can get these from Dollar Tree or from Poundland. I am using four frames just to show you for this DIY but of course you can use one or however many you like. Now this is really simple and easy but I promise you it looks so effective. Because it's really hard to get hold of a vintage book in an A4 size so it can fit your frames, I managed to look for one and find one online and it's so beautiful because it actually is vintage and there's really really gorgeous illustrations and it's all about flowers so I will leave that for you in the description box. So that's the first thing you're going to want to do is print some of that text off. I have four pages to fit my four frames. Then once you've done that you want to go onto Google or whatever search engine you use and you want to type in anything you're looking for. So if you're doing a bee theme, for example you can do Alice in Wonderland, you just want to find some images and you want to make sure that the background is white, that's super super important. So I've gone and looked for some bee images, made sure the background is white and then what you want to do next is put these back into your printer but what you want to do is turn them over like this so that when they go into the printer and they come out they're coming out on this side here so then once you've put these inside the printer you can then go and print out your B images or whatever images you've chosen to do and what's going to happen is that they're going to basically print on top of these okay so this is my printer tray these are my vintage text printouts I'm going to put them in this way slot that back into the printer and now all we need to do is go and print our images out and before you print your image out make sure that you resize it so that it fits whatever size you're working with in your frame so I'm working with A4 so I just made sure that I enlarge this image and then you're ready to print There you go, look at how it's come out. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to go and print a few more out. So once you're done, this is how they're going to come out. Absolutely beautiful, I really do love these. Look at this one, so gorgeous. On the fourth one, I kind of was running out of some ink, so it hasn't come out very strong, so this is definitely my least favorite. And on the images that I did choose, I did want kind of like a drawing, illustration, watercolour effect so that it actually looks like art which I think really adds to it because it looks like a mixed media piece so I do suggest doing that instead of looking for clip art or anything like that these just look so much better in my opinion so let's get them into the frames now so for your frames you want to remove all of the backing because the printouts in the A4 size don't fit this frame exactly so we're going to need to cut its size and the way that I do that is I remove all of this and then I use the paper that's inside as a template so you're just going to pop them over your printout we're going to draw along this and then cut it out So when I was cutting it out I realised some of them have got white borders on depending on what pages you print out from that vintage book that I found. So what I've done is printed an extra paper out so that I can cut the borders and then just fill all of this white space. Okay, so now I've done that, you're just going to take your papers and place them inside the frame and then we're going to bring back the backing, insert that in and just secure that. So 
So here's all of the completed projects, all four frames. I love how they came out. I'm just so excited to see what you all think. I just think it's a great hack. I hope that you have enjoyed me sharing this and this tutorial. If you have, as always, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, share this video with others, leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. I really love projects like this are really quick, simple and easy to do but they come out so effective and it really looks high end. I can definitely see something like this selling for quite a lot of money. Thank you so much for watching, take care, bye.